This is Netmerker, and we are just going to be playing some regular casual games on Jinteki.net tonight. Got some sneaky decks all lined up for you. Hopefully they'll be rather exciting. Right now we are waiting in the lobby, getting ready to start the first game. And it looks like we've got somebody set up. Right, I am playing Cybernetics Division. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my hand. I've got a Lateral Growth, a piece of ice, and a Jackson Howard. I'm on the punitive plan here. Going to a hedge fund, that's not bad at all. I'm gonna draw off my first click. I've also got Ruhr, excuse me, I also have Valley Grids in this deck. I'm going to Hedge Fund and then Lateral Growth a Vanilla onto HQ. I've got a Jackson Howard in hand and two Agendas. Hopefully in the next couple of turns I'll be able to set up a piece of ice on R&D, but right now my opponent, Edward Kim, is running a Keyhole. They hit a Utopia Fragment, they Keyhole again. And let's see what they hit. And they trash and they hit, they hit an Eden Fragment. Wow, in first game, Keyhole gets two agendas right off the bat. And we've got to hope right now, draw into a punitive Counter-Strike. See if we can do it with Jackson Howard. Oof, no, no punitive to draw into. And we're going to go ahead and ice R&D with the next gold. And we have to discard a card. I'm going to opt to discard a... You want to opt to discard a Valley Grid. I was thinking about it for a second. Bad start here for us. Let's see how our opponent responds. Looks like they are gaining some credits. One credit, two credit. We go for a run. Nope, they pop a dirty laundry on the Jackson Howard. I'm gonna go ahead and use Jackson. Effectively, they trashed the Jackson for two credits with the dirty laundry. Not exactly sure how I feel about that. I draw into a hedge fund. I think my turn's going to be hedge fund, Adonis, enforced curfew. We'll see how this goes. We're definitely looking at, looking at an uphill battle here. Our opponent's already at six points. They got to six points on their first turn with a keyhole and an unprotected R&D. They are just drawing some cards, plopping down the same old thing. And I really don't know what my scoring plan is going to be from here on out. Normally, this deck wants to run the punitives as the scoring plan, but right now that is just not an option. And we are probably going to have to... Rely on ice. But what ice that's going to be is not exactly clear to me. We're not dirty laundering into archives. Going to pick up some credits, up to five credits for our opponent. They're dropping a gang sign. That basically ends our game for the most part. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna use Jackson again. And I'm gonna put a vanilla on R&D. I've got a lot of stuff to clean out of my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and throw away all of those agendas. All three of the voting machine initiatives in my hand. Hopefully we can get something meaningful set up next couple of turns here. Draw into an Adonis. I'm gonna optionally draw, draw into another Valley Grid, and I'm gonna throw down Hedge Fund and 
a vanilla on server two. Hopefully we can get some points going as soon as we can get. All right, so they're running keyhole again. Has the potential to be very bad for us. I'm gonna go ahead and res this next gold and they have just enough to pay for this. We're down to 14 credits, but this is going to bankrupt them, so we'll have them out for a few more turns. But they might pick it up here. See if they win the game. Eagle on R&D. about their trash? It's going to be... And they are still thinking about their trash, and they trash a the next gold. Makes a lot of sense. I draw into a hedge fund. I'm going to optionally draw. I get a lateral growth. I will hedge fund and then put down a valley grid on R&D. My opponent's still sitting at three maximum hand size. Running archives probably to install a card. They pop a Hades shard. Fairly good in this situation, I think. And they are discarding a forked. All right. Draw into voting machine initiative. And with no... With no paperclip in the bin, I think that the combination of vanilla and Fairchild is going to keep them out. See how it goes. My opponent gains some credits, gains four credits on their turn. Very simple turn. And we draw into another voting machine initiative. This is a critical moment here. Will Gang Sign win the game for our opponent? Nope, they act as a valley grid. Very good for us. Got to think about my turn here. I will go ahead and use the voting machine. My opponent's down to three clicks on their turn and they are opting to gain credits. They install a liberated draw card. I'm gonna go for another score of a voting machine and this time they're starting their turn with no credits, just three clicks, and I'm going for another score. It looks like I'm in a fairly good position. They're liberating once, twice, and looks like, thinking about their last click here, are they going to run? Nope, they opt to install a Maw. If we can avoid... We can avoid losing the domestic sleepers. We have got this... Yep, looks like we've got it. The runner's going to lose two clicks from the voting machines on the start of their turn. Runner down to two clicks, two credits. And drawing for their first click. Using Liberated. No agendas, alright. Going to advance the domestic sleepers. And for the most part, we've got this game locked up. My opponent's got one more turn to win the game. How are they going to go for it? Probably going to be a run on R&D. Gain a credit. Looks like they are not going to be able to win this junction. Ooh, exciting game. Here we go. Wow, very exciting. I really thought that I was out of the game on that first turn. And I'm gonna start a second game. 